What's up everybody? Chef Plum here back with you again and we're at beautiful Butcher's Best Country Market in Newtown, Connecticut. And today I'm going to talk to you about something really important. It's called browning stew beef. Stew beef is a very tough piece of meat to begin with and it can generally be cut from any cut tough piece of meat. You know, you can do a London broil for a little bit leaner cut or a chuck roast for a little bit more fattier cut. Um, you know, you might use a London broil uh, um, stew beef for something like uh, you know a lower fat dish or something like that. But before you can cook anything with it, you gotta brown it in a pan. The browning develops so many flavors and uh, helps the dish taste so much better. Come on over to the saute station and I'll show you how to do it. Come on. All right guys, so we're here at our saute pan and I've got about uh, a tablespoon or so of olive oil in the pan. Just coating the pan, getting nice and hot for our stew beef here that we're gonna brown. Now remember, the only thing we're really gonna show you here is browning the beef and how important that is. When you do a braise and you do a roast, always brown the meat, it develops flavors so much more. So we're gonna take our stew meat like this and this is a little uh, chuck roast, I believe. Dropping it in right there. Sounds like that angry snake. Important, even when you're browning your meat, to also season it. Throw a little salt and pepper on top of the meat and in the pan. Now, like I said, really important to remember, and I'm not making a joke here, guys, don't play with the meat. Let it sit, let it sear. You don't want to start stirring it and moving it around and all that. The meat itself will tell you when it's ready to move because it won't stick to the bottom of the pan anymore. Beautiful browning there. See, that's exactly what we're looking for when we brown a piece of stew meat. As you can see, it's not sticking. Now we're getting fancy. And we're just going to brown this off. Plain and simple, guys. There couldn't be another more important thing. Season it, brown it, then roast it or braise it. Such an important thing to do. So that's about it. You brown it nicely. As you can see, the colors, it's browned all the way around. You don't want that gray kind of tinge to it. You want that nice searing there. It's called the Maillard reaction, actually. It's not caramelization, but that's a whole other video in itself. But that's it. Hot pan. Hot, 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 hot pan. Wisp of smoke coming off. When you drop the meat in, it should sound just like an angry snake. I'm Chef Plum here at Butcher's Best Country Market in Newtown, Connecticut, and that is how you brown stew beef. I'll see you next time.